Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet Vox. My name's Tracy and this is another little yarn haul. I know, I've had a, a little um, spending spree on yarns lately. Well, someone's been happy now. But um, today we were shopping and Gary suggested I go into Pound Stretcher. First of all, he suggested I went into Wilco and I said no, even though I knew that somebody had told me they had some different yarn in. So um, the, then we were right near Pound Stretcher and I thought, you know what, it won't hurt just to have a little look, would it? So I did get some yarns that I've had before because this is such amazing value and it's such lovely yarn to work with. That's the Yarn Fair Tootsie Acrylic. This is the Baby White and it is just 69p per ball. They're 50, they're 50 gram balls but the new price of them is 79 but some of them have got this old price still stamped on them. Now the shade is just baby white or B53. Um, you can 40 degree uh, machine wash these as well which is amazing and uh, you can gently tumble dry which is incredible. So no, no yardage but it is um, really really nice yarn to work with so i've got a couple of the white i think there might be a few more in this box i'm not sure well bag and then i've got a few of this lovely fuchsia pink <coughs> again i've had that before and let's see what uh this is fuchsia or b100 all of the details are exactly the same other than that i think where's the Yep, still acrylic. Oh, that is so soft. You know, it is really, really lovely. It works up so nicely. Such good quality yarn for the price. So that was 79p, which, you know, it's still very, very cheap. So I decided to give these baby yarns a try. And uh, these are ridiculously soft. They are gorgeous. Absolutely so, so soft. And um, they've got these like little color blobs i won't call them flex because they are in the dye and they're all different different colors so um this is called uh baby spot double knitting baby spot and this is machine washable as well at 40 degrees uh i don't think this one you can tumble though no tumble drying 100 percent acrylic and a 50 gram ball well these are one pound 29p but then they are much much softer very very soft so i got one two three in that color i think i just got the three time will tell when i get into the bottom of this bag so they also had it in this really lovely baby pink now this reminds me do you remember the chunky yarn i had and i made the hat and everything with i was hat and mittens with the chunky spot yarn and i've got blue pink and confetti but they are in a, a bulky bulky five so uh chunky yarn in the uk so this is a dk version or a double knit version so this one has just got like fuchsia pink kind of spots well this one is called p5416 pink or ps18 and uh see if we've got any other details i don't think we do that's um if you're making a swatch and it's all other than that very much the same so i got three in this pink and while i was there i got three in this lovely blue with the blue bl dots blue spot oh, it's so soft feels so so soft in my fingers so let's just see what the it says about the blue <clears throat> again it's the baby spot so they're one pound 29 and you can do a short spin but there is oh hang on cool iron dry cloth dry cleanable do not bleach no it doesn't say anything about tumble drying though so no you can't do that so this is p five six two five blue or ps one six and that's the blue 
so this is more expensive than the usual yarn but it was very very nice so while I was there I haven't had this one before but I thought I'd get a few I got four of the red isn't that bright look at that it looks darker from further away but it is actually quite let's see this is brighter than the, you're seeing but darker than looking up close so what do we what, what's on this is the yarn fair tootsie so it should be the same kind of spec as the first ones this is called charisse or cerise and it is b87 and i just check in case sometimes i have different things on the yarn bands so i will just look again this is machine washable and cool tumble dry 100 percent acrylic but it's a lovely lovely red i can't get you a true representation of that red unfortunately it's not wanting to play it's playing with the light so this is the um the bill but i can remember the prices no actually i can't remember the price of this and um oh i also got some plain blue there should be oh no maybe just got two of the plain blue in the yarn fair tootsie i wanted to get that because i thought it was a lovely color blue nice little baby blue and what does it say about the color of this okay it says it's blue <laughs> no way and it's b92 but again this one was 79p because there's no old label so that's still a real bargain so this one i'm not sure about let me just see if i can find the price at a glance in this bill two pound 49 so this was the more expensive of the balls that i bought and I've had a pink one before. It's here somewhere. Of course, I move everything and I've lost it. But I've got this in pink and white as well. But I've got this absolutely gorgeous lime green or mint green. I think it's more limey than mint. Isn't that... Well, you see, it's just sort of marble and then it goes to white. But the green bit is marbly. Isn't that different? I like that. If I can undo it and get that out and show you. Yeah, we'll be able to put that back. That's fine. Oh, that's soft. That is lovely. This is really, really nice. But it is a real limey green. I'm trying to get you that. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. But yeah, it's beautiful. I think that looks like it's lemon in there as well. Yeah, look at that lovely lemon inside wow i like this then this is called pretty baby chunky knitting so 100 gram skein uh we've got machine washable and tumble dry on low 100 percent acrylic can't see any yards on here though unfortunately they're not very good at telling you the yardage and do, 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 do. no not there either <clears throat> but this is the shade uh 8187 and that is unusual i'd not seen that before so while i was there i grabbed the only two green ones that they had so i really really like that it's green but with this beautiful lemon inside just stunning as they say on stella so then I got this colour as well, because bearing in mind, I already have pink. So I got this yellow and blue. Looks purple, doesn't it? I suppose it does look purple from the distance. So this one, there we are. Does it look blue or purple to you? Could be. Could be lavender, couldn't it? it might be lavender. So this one is shade... 8185. Should we get the one out as well? This one, I think, yeah. Some of them are able to, you know, pull open and others are sealed completely and you don't have that pull off, which is weird. But yeah, there we are. We've got this 
Oh, hang on. There's some... Maybe they're... Are they the same? They're not, are they? No. But they've got all kinds of colours in there. I'm just wondering. That wouldn't have blue in it, would it? What colour scheme is this? Let's see. Let's compare the colours. 8185. Can't see this one. Cellophane. 8187. So they are different. They are. That kind of freaked me out a little bit when I saw the lemon in there. I thought maybe there's blue in there as well. Or No, they are different. You can see, can't you? The totally different vibrancy of the colours. But I really like these. They're unusual. And the pink and white is just simply pink and white. Wow. Isn't that unusual? I really like that. So how much did I say they were? They were... £2.49, so we'll say £2.50 for 100 grams. But they are, they're something else. They're different. I like those. Well, I think I'll put those back in the cellophane in a moment so I can put them up there out of the way of... Oh, actually, there is a little bit... There is one more colour. I've got two of these, but I've... Oh, no. I thought I picked up the baby pink, but I didn't. I just picked up the baby blue. There's one more ball of blue. The pink is the spotty one. Put that down before it makes any more noise. But that's just an, an extra ball of this that was inside the bag. So I must have got four of those. I don't know if I got three of the pink, but I definitely got four of the blue. But I like that. I'm very pleased with all of it, actually. But these are... Oh, I've just ignored them in the past. I picked up some pink and white to make something for River when she, you know, we were having, when I was making her lots of stuff. Um, and I picked those up and thought I'd, I'll make something with those. <clears throat> I never actually got round to it. And I never took notice of any of the other colours. But this one is absolutely amazing. I love that. It's beautiful. Very pleased with that. So I hope you in, I hope you like my little yarn haul from one of the most inexpensive shops this side of the pond, this side of anywhere, to be honest with you. Um, somebody messaged me saying that they took a look at Mariners and um, I'm, I've had lots of messages and I can't remember who said it, but they came to, I think it was Jane, came to the conclusions that um, all of our yarn on this side of the pond is really, really cheap because um, when I did the Mariners yarn haul, I didn't tell you the prices, but they are incredibly low, incredibly low. The ones that I'd picked, anyway, they did have some more expensive yarns, but the ones that I'd picked, they weren't crazy expensive at all. So, yeah, well worth a look if you haven't already. Um I don't think they ship abroad at the moment. And they might Europe, I don't know. It's worth checking anyway. It's worth checking back later on as well. So I hope you like my little pound stretcher yarn haul. Who would have thought that pound stretcher would have stuff like this? You know, that you, you could see that in any expensive shop. You know, it's beautiful. Wow. Thank you for watching, everyone. Stay safe. Take care. I'll see you um, tomorrow for Rock Chat. Um, and uh, bye for now, everyone. I'm a very, I've been very spot today. Kind of. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> for any of you who haven't yet seen my happy mail, there was a little surprise in there from Gary I didn't quite bargain on. <laughs> I gave it back to him, so if you watch that, you'll know what I mean. And he he, he looked at I said, Gary, did you buy me this? And he giggled and said, ah, oh. <laughs> no, that was for me. <clears throat> so that means I have another parcel coming. That's, uh, that's the good part of it. So anyway, bye for now, everyone.